is Greg Bulger. Bulger. Plays it into Liam Scales down the line. That's a fortunate ricochet there for Neil Ferrugia. Gaffney into Ferrugia again. Neil Ferrugia! Oh, he just missed the far post. An excellent move from Shamrock Rovers. Ferrugia, little look up to play it into Gaffney. First time ball, first time shot across the box. Didn't miss by much. Scales up to Gaffney. Settled in well as Shamrock Rovers. Now to Captain Ronan Finn. Finn faced by a couple of Sligo players. Into the Irish international, Jack Byrne spins well in the box. And 23 minutes in, Jack Byrne gives the visitors the lead. His third league goal of the season in only the fifth game for Shamrock Rovers. Spun away from the Sligo defence so well and gave Ed McGinty in the Sligo goal absolutely no chance. Shamrock Rovers one up. Burn. Tried to play the through ball to Aaron Green. It was intercepted. This is Will Seymour. Now Ronan Coughlin. Coughlin, oh, kind of bent and dipped in front of Alan Manis. And Shamrock Rovers a little fortunate there that no Sligo player decided to run in after the ball after a bounce off Manis's chest. Seymour. That's a good ball by Seymour. Options here for Sligo Rovers, perhaps. David Cawley goes to ground and referee Paul McLaughlin points to the spot. Ricardo Lopez, guilty of taking down his man. Devers with the cross. Scales had slipped and Cawley went to ground. The referee decided that's a penalty. So four minutes before half-time, a chance for Sligo Rovers to level things up. It's going to be... Ronan Cochran to take it, and he sends Manus the wrong way. And it's 1-1 at the showgrounds. Cool as you like, penalty from Ronan Cochran. Sending Alan Manus, diving away to his left-hand side. The ball went to his right, and it's 1-1. Remains at 1-1. Pitch has held up well, despite all the rain in the Sligo area. Here's Jack Byrne. Into your room to move into. Jack Byrne's going to size up a shot. Jack Byrne! Oh, swinging away to his right hand side. Ed McGinty relieved to see that go wide. Excellent effort from Byrne. Aaron McAniff. Ball across the area. It's, it's not cleared very well. It's gone straight to Byrne again. Can't give the ball away to this man, Byrne, going an awful long way, Jack Byrne! Oh, it ricocheted off to the fender, and looking enough from Sligo Rovers' point of view, he didn't get much power in the shot. But he got to the edge of the area, Jack Byrne, and it just nicked away off Seymour. Shepard Grove was doing most of the pressing in the second half, here's Liam Scales. There's a chance for McIniff! 14 minutes from time. Shamrock Rovers hit the front again. It was a lovely little layoff ball by the substitute Dylan Watts into the path of Aaron McIniff. And he hit it first time left footed past McGinty. And it's Sligo 1, Shamrock Rovers 2. And Ferrugia. Earns himself and his side a throw on that far side. Republic of Ireland under 21 international will. Take his time. Shamrock Rovers in command of this game. Heading for their fifth straight victory. Ferrugia take the throw. Goes short to Watts. Watts goes along the byline. And here's Green! And Aaron Green scores against his former club and trots over this near side to put the palms out and say, how about that to the Sligo Rovers supporters? Left-footed, roof of the net. Game over, you would think. Shamrock Rovers leading 3-1 now. Most of the Sligo Rovers supporters heading for home. Shamrock Rovers well in command here. Deep in injury time. This is Niall Morahan. Oh, that looks like a handball. Morahan! Oh, he scored! Three minutes into added time. 
Mood of celebrations. And Sligo pulled one back. It looks like it's going to be consolation only. Looked like a handball there, but referee decided it was accidental. And Morahan planted a pass Manus to make it 3 2. One last chance, perhaps. Lopez heads it clear, and the referee Paul McLaughlin calls the end of the contest, and it's 